Hey everybody, Parks Alzi here with Score.gg. I'm joined by Diamond Prox. First off, welcome to Las Vegas. How has it been so far? Have you enjoyed your time? It's been great. It's like, I'm second, second time to Vegas. First time I was really poor. It was back in like M Moscow five days and I didn't have uh, much uh, finances to explore Las Vegas. I just played the tournament and ate uh, at McDonald's, but now, <laughs> now, now I'm actually figuring out what the city is and also Riot uh, made some like, great decisions of wh where to take the pro players and we had some really great time together. So yeah, it's, it's been going pretty good. That's good to hear. I'm glad you're getting to explore some. Are you also exploring the uh, like the gambling area, or just kind of exploring the fun stuff to do in the city? Um, I'm not a big fan of gambling. I just don't, I'm not going to gamble for the sake of it. Maybe if I'm like if I will be going crazy at the end of this trip, maybe I will just spend maybe 50 bucks to just gamble and just like make this uh, accomplishment in my life that I gamble at, at Las Vegas. But other than that, I, I don't like gambling. I actually hate it. And uh, I would, if I would uh, be a good poker player, I would play poker here definitely, but I'm not, so <laughs> maybe next time. Yeah, that's smart then. That's, that's good uh, money sense that you have. Um, so, you just played in the tandem event, which is one of my personal favorites, so I was happy to see you get to play in that. Um, and you played with MLXG, and so, you know, there's obviously a communication barrier there, and jungle is all about moving across the map and, and making very smart decisions. So how did you accomplish that, and how did you guys just figure out, you know, where it was that you wanted to, which camps to take, where to gank, and stuff like that? It was actually super fun. I think it's the most fun I've ever had uh, playing the League of Legends like competitive match. Yeah, because other matches were about winning and this match was like about having fun. And it was a lot of fun, especially with language barrier, because uh, me and Malik G, we decided that he plays on mouse and I play on keyboard. So I, I didn't try to like communicate of whether, uh, where we should go. I just stick to Whatever he chooses, where we go, what we farm, and stuff like that, I just try to press my uh, my my keys the best I can. And uh, the only thing that I like try to communicate with him like the most is like when first of all our communication was like only uh, like uh, fingers to the monitor. So when we based and I opened shop and we already had like Trinity Force and a couple and a one thousand eight hundred gold. So he bought Giant's belt and then some armor thingy for eight hundred. I, I showed him like no 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 please go damage full damage. <laughs> and he is like no we need like uh, heal and he like points uh, at uh, Spirit Visage too. I'm like no we go full damage dude trust me. And then we buy full damage and uh, stomp them up until we lose. <laughs> Yeah, you, you were kind of solo carrying there for, for a good while. Um, it was really fun to watch. What happened, though? You guys were, I mean, you, you specifically were doing very well. Uh, but then at the end of the game, it got turned around. So what, what was going on at the end? I think, first of all, when, like, first of all, somehow enemy cartas got 10-0. <laughs> I don't know how. We didn't really watch them up, but whenever we saw mid lane, it was like uh, Kartos getting kills over and over. So this that's the first thing. Then they somehow got two Drakes. We didn't even pay, pay attention that Drakes were on the map, but they somehow got two. And because of that and our team suiciding for some questionable reason, uh, they got the first Nasher that brought them back into the game. And after that, I think the critical point was when me and Alex G were chasing Lisin because he was out of position, and like we uh, we tried to catch him with ultimate, and so we, I tried to interrupt Lisin ultimate with my ultimate, but somehow he timed his ultimate so good that uh, right after my ultimate finishes and fears him, I get kicked out, and so he survived, and that's why we got wiped, and they got the critical nasher that allowed them to win the game. But yeah. Well, it was very fun to watch, and oh, all right, yeah, um, sorry, we, we've got to wrap it up. Um, it was very fun to watch. Did you practice the tandem mode much, or was it just kind of, this was your first time and you went into it? 
Yeah, we practiced with MLXG, uh, MLXG for like uh, one minute in custom game and we actually intended to play listen because I thought it's going to be like all, all blind so both teams can choose whatever they want and it would be actually more fun than what uh, happened. And that's why in Champion Select I asked enemy team to pick listen too but it, it happened that it's like a uh, pro draft so they got Lee and we didn't get Lee so we just figured out that we're going to play Hacker because, I don't know, because MLXG wanted to play Hacker. <laughs> <laughs> Bummer. Well, it would have been really fun to see the two leads against each other. You are right. So, Riot, next year, pay attention and get that for us. Thank you so much. We're out of time. Um, I appreciate the interview and best of luck uh, for the rest of the tournament and have a good time. Thank you very much. Thanks again. And thank you all for watching.